Piers Morgan, 57, has doubled down on his criticism of the BBC after Gary Lineker was taken off air by the BBC for the second time in the space of nine days after the presenter pulled out of hosting their FA Cup coverage on Sunday. The football pundit had only agreed to return to the BBC on Monday after he was removed from his duties by the BBC following a tweet about the government's immigration policy, but he has been replaced by Alex Scott for Brighton's tie with Grimsby. Reacting to a news story shared on Twitter regarding the replacement, Beers claimed Gary's free speech was being cancelled again. The former Good Morning Britain host reposted the news piece in view of his 8. 4 million followers. He added, breaking, Lineker's free speech cancelled again. But it was not the first time Piers had voiced his stance on the row, having compared Gary to Jeremy Clarkson, claiming they were both victims of a witch hunt. It happened following the latest move from the government that has promised anyone who arrives illegally in the UK is detained and swiftly removed. The match of the day presenter voiced his opinion and compared the bill to Nazi history, leaving many online users debating. Piers opened a recent installment of his show issuing a rant about the broadcasters being the victims of prosecution. He said, Gary Lineker and Jeremy Clarkson play for very different teams. One is a woke warrior who talks about football. The other is a culture warrior who talks mainly about cars and farms. One of them invites me to dinner, the other one punches me in the face. Clarkson and Lineker could hardly be more different, but what unites them is they have both been the victims of witch hunts in recent months. Upsetting supporters on the other side Jeremy Clarkson made a crass hand-fisted joke about his legitimate loathing for Meghan Markle. A mob brandished snitch forks and demanded that Amazon and ITV sever their ties with him and maybe they will get their wish. Don't miss. Amanda Holden leaves fans floored over wardrobe malfunction in skirt, pictures neighbours actor Peter Hardy found dead on Australian beach aged 66, just in Jeremy Clarkson slams shaky argument in farm planning permission row, insight. Beers continued his rant, Gary Lineker made pretty exaggerated comparisons to the government's migrant policy and Nazi Germany. A mob descended to demand that he gets fired by the BBC and they may get their wish. Many of the people in the anti-Clarkson mob are the very same people now defending Lineker. Many of the people in the anti-Lineker mob are the loudest defenders of Clarkson. In this game of two halves, both sides are wrong. The BBC has confirmed that Gary had to skip his presenting duties on Sunday afternoon after suffering from illness. A statement from BBC Sports Twitter account read, Due to illness, we've got a lineup change for today's Live FA Cup coverage of Brighton v Grimsby on BBC One. As viewers will have noticed yesterday, Gary Lineker was struggling with his voice and unfortunately it has deteriorated overnight. Alex Scott will be hosting instead, the statement concluded.